our day in Bekwe was a magical one and provided that bucket list Caribbean experience that we'd hoped for. We explored the town of Port Elizabeth, discovered some pristine beaches, snorkeled on a coral reef and sailed on a beautiful schooner to some remote parts of the island. This is a tender port, so we took our turn to board the tenders that ferried all the passengers ashore. Once ashore, we immediately headed towards Princess Margaret Beach. This is the main and most popular beach and we knew it would get pretty busy once all the passengers had come ashore. It's a really pleasant walk to the beach, which takes you along narrow boardwalks that hug the shorelines and provide spectacular views across the bay. There are numerous bars and cafes to distract you from your walk to the beach. What's not to like? There's a small climb through woods and scrub before dropping onto a platform that only hangs the cliffs before you arrive at the beach. There are sights everywhere you look on this trail and some wonderful wildlife too. The beach doesn't disappoint and is backed by Jack's Beach Bar and Cafe and several vendors selling drinks, snacks, gifts and even rum punch served in coconuts. It really is a superb beach but it filled up quickly as the ship's passengers all descended on it. After enjoying the beach, we walk back to explore Port Elizabeth itself. There is a splendid old church which is really worth a few minutes of your time to visit. There are several shops, bars, cafes and a small market too. Through the town we headed round to the Hamilton district and decided to make the climb up to the headland to explore what's left of Fort Hamilton. There isn't much to see although cannons remain in their placements and you get some splendid views across the bay. A nice gentleman named Codgerton also provided some pleasant chat and banter and sold us some very reasonably priced beer for refreshment. Then heading back into town, we could see our excursion arriving to collect us. We had booked to sail out to some more remote areas of the island on a schooner. The schooner was named Scaramouche and was built in 1979. She also claims to have been used in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And it was all aboard, and after a briefing from her jolly and friendly crew, we were sailing across towards Moonhole Bay. This is a secluded community area with homes built on and into the cliffs. No stopping there though, and we headed round the headland towards the small island of Petit Nevis. This provided a great spot to snorkel on a coral reef and it was at times like this that I wish I had an underwater camera. The range of fish on the reef was outstanding. Then further sailing to Tony Gibbons Beach for some swimming in some beautiful turquoise waters. Sadly this trip had to end and all aboard sang along with our crew as we headed back to Port Elizabeth. Music 
then it was back to the ship by tender, past a beautiful clipper that had moored in the bay. It really had been a wonderful and memorable day. Thank you, Berkway. We can honestly say, paradise found.